Hi and welcome to this week's version of Motivational Monday. Today we're focusing on hashtag loving me and getting to know me will be the topic we're discussing today. So it's a very important part of loving yourself is you have to know yourself. Plot twist, I know. Um, but unfortunately for me um, and probably some others, I didn't realize I didn't know me. Um, and just to give you a little bit of background on on that, I remember after um, the breakup with my ex, um, I finally had to make decisions for just me instead of making decisions that impacted someone else. And I no longer had anyone else to factor in but me. Um, and so then I had to realize, what do I like? <laughs> what do I enjoy? Um, and so that's when I went through the whole getting to know me phase. And, and I'm glad I did because now that I know who I am, I can truly and genuinely love myself, which I think is important. So you want to make sure you're getting to know your personality, what your core values are, get to know your body, get to know your dreams. Um, so for the longest time, the only dreams I had was to be a mother and a wife. And Although I do still want to be a mother and a wife one day, um, that's no longer my only goals in life. And so I have so many dreams now that I get frustrated with myself that they haven't um, come to fruition. Um, so it's just about patience and understanding. And, and when you love yourself, you're forgiving of yourself. But also getting to know your likes and your dislikes um, and being able to stand firm with that. If you genuinely don't like something, don't do it and don't allow anybody to force you to do it. Some questions to ask yourself. What activity in life lights you up and gives you joy? What is something you enjoy doing even when you're tired? What do you fear most about leaving a bad job or relationship? What about yourself are you most proud of? If you could have one wish granted, what would it be? If money was no constraint, what would you be doing with your time? Who's your greatest role model? What is one failure that has turned into your greatest lesson? So just ask yourself those types of questions and really reflect on them and really understand why you feel a way about either side of that um, answer. But realize you do not have to justify your worth. You are worth it. Um, and nobody else has to believe it but you. Take time to try different things to figure out what you enjoy. Um, that was the biggest piece. I mean, I think I went wine tasting and carnivals and concerts and just I, anything you want to do, just do it. Seriously. Um, I create bucket lists all the time. But the important part is getting through that bucket list and actually enjoying what I'm doing and let go of expectations you have on yourself. For me, that's one of the biggest challenges is making sure that I am lenient to myself and understanding just because I didn't reach a goal by a certain time frame doesn't mean I'm a failure. But look after yourself and know that fitting in is highly overrated. Um, so I have a couple of quotes to end this with. Um, my Favorite, 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 favorite quote. Be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. The next one I have, um, the better you know yourself, the better your relationship with the rest of the world. And my final quote, if you really want to get to know yourself, start by writing a book. Um, which funny enough, that was how I ended up getting to know myself. Um, was I wrote a book. Um, and I, I, I write for therapeutic purposes, and it's really beneficial. Um, so it works out that way. So definitely, any topics that you want covered, please be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Um, also, I would love to hear some of your favorite activities that you do um, to get to know yourself. So leave those in the comments there. Thanks.